Libra. Hi, how you doing? This is your Lionese. Pull two two for you two two for February twenty twenty four two two. And I'm burning. I'm going to light patchouli chachu. Cha 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 chu. Cha cha cha. Patchouli. Yes. How do you do? I will. Thank you very much for asking. I'm fine. Let me right. so close the door. So I don't irritate the neighbors. You know. So let's light. Patchouli. And say to you, Vamo Gila Gila, you are always welcome in this space with me. <laughs> yes, this is the Lionese Tarot Tracks Pull for Libra for February 2024. Thank you for joining me. Remember, this is an adults only entertainment channel. If something resonates with you, I'm glad to hear it. If it doesn't, don't use it. Please use it. And. Let us get this train on the go. Let us see what energies we can pull for you and me to see today. <laughs> From the line of the tracks. And a few jumped out. Are we going to do them all? It's a very red indeed. So you pulled first. The Ace of Hearts, this is a house of true heart and happiness, prosperity for all of the people that live in the house, a breakthrough through in feelings. For married couples, it means great abundance. And the home, it means a, basically a happy life. Yes. And then we have seven, eight. So seven says thoughts, imagination, Sweet dreams like you never imagined before. A good omen for business plans. Royal resolutions. Royal. Personal. Well, that is royal, isn't it? Love ambitions. Just so this card spells just have the courage to dream. And then we have the Eight of Diamonds, which spells unpredictability. Obstacles on a rainy day. Rainy day challenges. Mm -hmm. We all know them. Sometimes you just cannot find success. And even if it is a rainy day, hey, 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 just have, and, and you, well, have some prejudice, even if you have good business prospects. If it's sunny in the morning, take a brolly outside. That's what the card spells to us today. I hope you take the drift. Be prepared. You could be stirred or erred. And just have your wits about you. Let's see what. Hmm. The saddest card in the deck, the Ten of Swords. Yes, it's death indeed. The end of this situation, the end of this relationship, or situationship. It's the end. It just jumped out, it had to say. I. My condolences. What I always say with this card is you need to take all those daggers and knives and swords that everybody poked into your back. And you have to pull them out personally, one by one by one. And here's the biggest culprit of them all. A Capricornian man or woman. But this also speaks of the things that hold you back in life. Your restrictions, the chains, the things that you chained to. Your trouble and strife is your wife in the good old English days. Whatever you're chained to... This card is asking you, can, you, not asking you, it's telling you, you do have the strength to, to cut those chains of jealousy and trouble. You are able to break these chains that are binding you or holding you back. So it's the end of the chains. No more chains. 
that are holding you back. It's over. Because you're lying there on the floor, all alone. And ten ten confirmation then. Ten ten. It's been a heavy load that you've been have holding. Libra. This is the end of the road. However heavy it seems. It doesn't seem that you have it inside your brain or your will inside you to continue. I'm sorry. You are full of frustrations. You are bound by this mental prison that you put yourself in, that you think you cannot get out of it. But if you just knew that you can and will get out of it. It's all the thinking in the world is not going to get you out of it. The thinking doesn't get you out of it. No, 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 no. You keep the thinking for the toilet seat. You go sit in the toilet seat and think. The rest of the day, don't think. Just do. That's the truth. Unfortunately, it might be cutting and harsh. It may be blunt. But you need to stop worrying. You need to stop imprisoning yourself. In all these bad thoughts, Libra. This is a harsh reading, I'm sorry. But sometimes we need to do the adult thing and grow up. And remember, if anything resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, don't make this your story. Because you do have the independence, ultimately. If you can resist everything, if you can say hell to the nay, 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 no. These are not my thoughts. Other people are... living rent-free in your mind and if you get them out of your mind because they are not allowed to live in your mind get them out of your mind get rid of it and then you will have complete peace of mind and contentment because you have the power of the birds of the air the birds of predators these predators and animals and fauna and flora and Anything that's worldly, that's what you command. Absolutely, Libra. What else uh, for you today? Very serious. Well, you could be feeling smug because you solved this court situation, this body corporate issue, this management, police. Yes, the justice is looking in your favor. For, for heaven's sake, everything earthly, you command it. It is your gift. You own the sign of Libra is the scales, which represents the courts and justice. Watch out for that which glitches. It's not gold. That says the high queen bitch cuts with the truth. But you are in a magician and you are deciding on finding this new relationship. You will create and have the intentions because it's a brand new world and the the wheel of fortune has changed for Libra in the near future, you will be leaving your shores, seeking new shores and new places. You will seeking out truths and places that were meant for you to go to and see or study. That's the same thing. When you read and you learn and you see and you hear, it is the same as traveling overseas. That is the truth this queen is telling you. But this queen is also, it is an air sign like Libra. This is you, the queen of swords. You have all the tools in your hands. Unfortunately, you can be a little bit cold and hard. 
and demanding. When you speak with authority and people shudder when you speak. So be a little bit gentler because this is a heavy reading and you've gone through hell and back. Like Persephone. You met the devil and you said, here's your baby held to the nay, nay, nay. And the big witches said, hey, 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 look, there's an empress there for you. There's time to understand there will be a delay, hey, hey, hey. Something you've got to wait for. You've got to have patience. Even though you've gone through hell and back, you are like, like somebody else got the earth angel reading of the of note. I can't remember who it was. Earth angel, that's what you are. Oh, remember back those days. And it's come to the top. You've come to the top. The top of the pinnacle of this story and this is change this is an elevation in money maybe an overseas trip this is for sure a completion an ending with a new beginning soon when i hope the new moon on friday i think it's friday the 9th of february is the new moon let's see Libra. what more could you expect to see, maybe? Oh, gosh. No more sleepless nights because you're so depressed, feeling like you've left out and you're just not the person that you used to be. No, no, no. You're just like, oh, my God. This is misery. Misery in your head. Like I said, it's misery, it's all in your head. You have tears and frustrations and you really, seriously, you need to let it go because if you worry, you make it double. And most of what you worry about actually never comes to pass. But this card is telling you, you need to come in from the cold. Stop that shit. Come up, come up here. Come to where you are. There's new bright ideas of money and things to conquer. You've been working hard. And if you do, then what happens is you gain a certain notoriety. 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 I can't say that word right now. You become the king of pentacles. You have the strength the command, you're very powerful, you're arrogant, and you're great in business. Or, this man's going to come in and save your day, Aries. For sure. This is the strongest card in this right now. So dream. Thoughts and imagination. Sweet dreams, like you've never imagined. It's a good omen for business plans, personal resolutions, love ambitions. So just have the courage to dream, to have a happy house and a happy home with a true heart and happiness, prosperity for the people living in it and the house. This is a breakthrough in feelings for marriage and married couples. This means great abundance on the home and the happy family. Life. Let's get a Doreen Virtuous Virtual Angel an Oracle card for you to finish off the story that's just broken my heart. So, Doreen Virtue has messages from your angels in these Oracle cards. This is what your angels want you to know. They're virtual angel prayer cards. Sometimes they hit home. Sometimes we need to pull another card to make it more serious. Because not everybody is living a general life. And remember, this is a general reading for Libra. If you know what your moon and rising sign is, go check them out. 
you could be cross watching for a Libra. Don't make it their story if it sounds like them. But the angel card for you, Libra, is Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Well, it's a very heavy reading. I hope you have the strength to have the confidence to get through because you know you are the light at the end of your tunnel. And if you just try a little bit better, or try a little bit harder, life gets better. And even though it does get tougher, we all get smarter together. Ciao for now. Salani gachle. Shalom. Salam alek. Akis li for you. Ich liebe dich. Tot ziens. Tschüss. Salani gachle. Sia bonga. Mm.